Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, June 6th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Kudzu or Ivy? Those are both a type of vine. Yeah, and it's asking for one or the other, so our answer is singular vine. Veni blank Vici? That's Veni Vidi Vici, right? I came, I saw, I conquered. Mid-month date? That's gonna be the Ides, like the Ides of March. We have a very Latin heavy corner over here. Celebrity who's adored? That's gotta be an idol. Mardi Gras City informally? That's gonna be Nola. We've had that a lot lately. I think this is the third time this week. Jazz great Fitzgerald, that's Ella Fitzgerald. And what do we have here? It looks like it's gonna be Isaac, science fiction writer Asimov. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's take a peek at our first long across here. This has gotta be our first theme answer. Secretary of Perry Mason. Ooh, I never watched Perry Mason. And it looks like it's pointing to a revealer maybe down here. Yeah, let's get some more crossing help on this secretary. Macbeth has five of these. This is a little bit tricky. It's not talking about five things that Macbeth has inside the play. It's talking about the play Macbeth itself. It's a five act play. So it has five acts. That's pretty tricky. I like that. All right, so we're not gonna be able to build in from this theme answer. Let's see if we can start fresh here. Alternative to solid, liquid, or gas. I think that has to be plasma, right? That's the fourth state of matter. Some laptops for short. This has to be PCs. On fire, is that gonna be lit? It's lit, just like our literature puzzle yesterday. Busy month for accountants, that's definitely April. That's when taxes are due. Table for later. Hmm, so this is like putting something off. Could that be shelf? I think it could be. More timid, that has to be meeker. Yeah, it's got that comparative ending because it's asking for more timid. Is this gonna be a cipher? A coded message, yes. And then what do we have here? But is it blank? Is this asking, but is it art? <laughs> I guess you could ask that about a lot of things. So this secretary is gonna be Della Street? I've definitely not heard of Della Street before. It's interesting that their last name is Street. That sort of feels like it could possibly be part of a theme here. We actually have a lot of crossing help for the next theme answer here. Let's take a look at this one. Alcoholics Anonymous Program. Oh, that's the 12 steps, right? Yeah, 12 steps. Della Street. 12 steps. Hmm. Street steps, Della 12. Interesting. I can't really find any connection between these two theme answers yet. Let's see if we can get to this next one. Cried. Could that be wept? Right on stone say. That has to be etch. So that gives us set here. Call between ready and go. Ready, set, go. Yeah. Indigenous people for whom a great lake is named. I guess that's going to be Eries, plural. Yeah, that's kind of unusual. Roadwork ahead or dead end. Those would both be a sign. Places. Hmm. This could be about a specific place that you can visit. It could also be the present tense verb, to place. Hmm. It could also be a different kind of place. It's actually looking like it's gonna be steads. Yeah, like you went in someone's stead, you went in their place. That's very tricky. I wonder if while we're here, we can finish off this corner. Do the hustle. And this is wordplay that's indicated by this question mark here. So what we have to do is look for a punny answer. So this is not going to be about dancing the hustle. I think this is maybe about doing a different kind of hustle. Hustle is another word for a scam, right? Yeah, I think scam works very nicely here. 
summary. That could be a recap. Trinkets, tchotchkes, and whatnot. <laughs> Is that just going to be items? Yeah, kind of non-specific items. Blank Lanka. That could be Sri Lanka. Non-human member of the family. Hmm, I guess that's going to be a pet. A card in the deck. <laughs> a card with an A on it would be an ace. What's this along down here? A tire for astronauts. That's got to be spacesuits. Yeah. Measuring instrument that may have a needle. I think that's going to be a gauge, right? Yeah, the needle would point to a bunch of numbers. Swarming pest. That has to be a gnat. And uh, like holiday nogs. Is it going to be eggy because it's eggnog? So that would leave us with stag, doe's mate. That's right, that's a male deer. And sty, pig's place. Yeah, yesterday we had oinks emanating from a sty. Okay. Drug also known as angel dust in brief. <laughs> I think that's going to be PCP. That's something I learned in fifth grade in my dare class. I am blank, Louvre Pyramid Architect. That's I am pay. All right, we have a grid spanner here and I think this is gonna be another theme answer. Let's take a look. Finish a gymnastics routine perfectly. When you do that, you stick the landing, right? Hmm, this is interesting. Steps and landing. You can take steps up to a landing, right? These kind of feel related. Hmm. It almost feels like you're starting at the street, you're going inside a building, taking the steps, and then you reach a landing. I wonder if the last theme answer is going to be floor, possibly? Because that would be your destination, right, if you're taking the stairs? I wonder if that's right. Carpet on a forest floor. Ooh, um, I think there's a specific word for this. It's like dead vegetation. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hosts with mics for short. Is that going to be MCs? Hmm, I think it could be. Famed Roman censor. I think that's going to be Cato. Is unsuited to go swimming, but does so anyway. And this is another wordplay clue. So I don't think this is going to be about not being able to swim. I think the pun here is going to be about the fact that you are literally unsuited, as in you don't have a bathing suit on. Yeah, this could be skinny dip or skinny dips. Yeah, because it's asking for does so in the present tense. That's very funny. I really like this pun a lot. Trees with acorns. Okay, that has to be oaks. Oh, okay, so this is just going to be moss. It isn't some kind of arcane term. All right. Justice Sotomayor. That's Sonia Sotomayor. What do we have here? Descendants. I guess that could be scions. Yeah, those are kind of like your heirs, right? Fashion designer Spade. That's Kate Spade. Oh my god, that's so funny. These quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. I think this is going to be maybe something you would write in a text. Could be lols. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's right. Let's see if we can confirm that. Little rascal. That should be an imp. Yeah, so maybe this is going to be LMAO instead. Kind of an equivalent texting phrase. Yeah, this should be an imp. Lassa blank. Dog breed. That's a Lassa opso. I learned that one on crossword puzzles. Yeah, that one shows up all the time. Nile snake, that's going to be an asp. Baby buggy to Brits. They call baby buggies prams in Britain, so that'll just be pram. Memos, that could be notes. Let's see if we can get this last theme answer here. Description of a wholesome, clean-cut guy. Hmm. Um, well... We wanted it to end in floor, right? A clean-cut guy. Hmm. It does sort of seem like it could end in floor, although SF looks really weird. Shorthand writers. That should be stenos, right, for stenographers? Yeah. 
Hmm. Interesting. It's not going to be floor. Many a newspaper scoop. Hmm. It's not an exclusive. Interesting. Make blank meet. That should be make ends meet. Hawaiian necklace. That is a lei. Yeah, that's a necklace of flowers. Sass could be a lip. And Chicago trains could be L's. Yeah, elevated trains. I bet if we get the beginning of this, maybe we could figure it out. Beauty and the Beast heroine. That's Belle. Baseball great Buck. I believe that's Buck O'Neill. So is this going to be boy next door? Oh, whoops. We had a typo in Kate. That made things harder to see. Yeah, this should be boy next door. Hmm. It can't be an exclusive. That's too long. Letter between O and Q. Um, I guess that would be P spelled out, right? Because we're spelling out letters of the alphabet up here. Hmm. Many a newspaper scoop. I have no idea. Considers. Maybe that could be deems. If you deem something worthy, you consider it worthy. All right. Why don't we take a look at this revealer? We have a street a step, a landing, and a door. It does sort of feel like you're coming up off of the street and going into an apartment or something, right? Let's take a look here. Cry after navigating the last parts of the answers to this puzzle's starred clues. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're coming home from work. Could it be, honey, I'm home? <laughs> That's very funny. That was a fun little journey we got to go on. Juice brand with a hyphenated name that's going to be High C. Oh, maybe this is going to be an expose. Yeah, that accented E is kind of tricky to see. Big name in small planes. That's going to be Cessna. Similar chemical compound. I think that's going to be an isomer. Yeah, the prefix iso means equal, so that makes a lot of sense. We have yen, Japanese currency, that's right. And we have IRA, savings plan briefly. Yeah, that's an individual retirement account. Element suggested phonetically by N-O-P-Q-S-T-U-V. <laughs> what is this talking about? Phonetically. Um, this is the alphabet again. What? Uh, I have no idea what's going on here. Phonetically. Hmm. What a weird clue. N-O-P-Q-S-T-U-V. Hmm. It's not quite the alphabet because we're missing an R. Wait a minute. Is it going to be Argon? Because it sounds like Argon. <laughs> oh my god, that's so crazy. What a crazy clue for a Monday puzzle. Argon. Wow. Perlman of Cheers. Okay, that's Rhea Perlman. Dress worn to a ball. Could that be a gown? Its capital is Muscat. Is that Oman? I think that's right. Hawaii's only native goose? Oh, I know that one. That's a gimme for a goose like me. That's the Nene. So that would mean we have Ewan here, actor McGregor. Yeah, that's right. And then this should be Anne, diarist Frank. Yeah, the diary of Anne Frank. Excellent. All right, let's throw that E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 19 minutes. That's a decent time for us for a Monday. Yeah, we struggled a little bit with this first theme answer because I've never watched Perry Mason, so we had to get this all filled in on crosses. And then as we were solving, we kind of started to put together the trip that we were taking. Yeah, I think by the time we hit landing, we had a good idea of what was going on. We were taking a trip from the street, up some steps, getting to a landing, and then we finally hit the door before we said, honey, I'm home. Yeah, this is a nice light little Monday theme. They definitely managed to stick the landing with that revealer. The rest of the theme answers are pretty nice too. Boy Next Door, 12 Steps. Della Street did give us a little bit of trouble though. I was really happy to see that we got a couple of wordplay clues today. I really liked Do the Hustle for a Scam, and the clue for Skinny Dips was really fun too. 
is unsuited to go swimming. That's a very funny pun. I also ended up really liking the clue for Argon. Yeah, this is kind of like a traditional Rebus puzzle. Yeah, it's like a visual wordplay puzzle. Very, very nice. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed deciphering that Monday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. Alright, I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.